Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to block out and sculpt this human base head. I'm gonna show you the fast method in easy steps. So let's get started! First I'm gonna change the focal length to 120 and then select my cube and click Ctrl 5 to add a subdivision surface modifier and then go to sculpt mode. Then I'm going to change the voxel size to 0.05 and then click Ctrl R to remesh. Don't forget to turn on the X mirror, start smoothing the sphere. So as you see for starting blocking out a human skull, I'm going to decrease the each size of the head like so with grab brush and then I'm going to go to side view and grab this part of the head to here. And then, uh, for me, it's time to make some planes of the head. Just go to this view and then choose scrape brush and create these planes of the head. These planes are so helpful and please just search for some human skull references in Google or on Pinterest and look at the references and look at how I sculpt this sphere so you would get it better. So after creating these planes of the head, just consider the first line I sculpted as the hairline and then the other lines as the eyebrows and the nose line. And just know that the distance between these three lines have to be equal. Actually, I have a specific video about head proportions and I explained all the head proportion secrets there. If you want to know more about them, watch that video after watching this video. I put it up here. Again, I changed the voxel size to 0.03 and Ctrl R to remesh. Then now I'm gonna start sculpting bony landmarks of the head. So as you see for this purpose, I'm gonna use clay strips brush and start sculpting the orbit of the eyes, like so, and then the eyebrows bony landmark, and then I'm gonna add volume for the nasal bone, that's one of the bony landmarks, and then you can add more volume to the nose. Just be careful guys that use the references, gather some anatomy references for the human skull, and then start watching this video and apply these uh, sculpting techniques step by step with me and just look at these anatomy references repeatedly and just do it and just pay attention from all angles. Then I'm gonna add some volume to the cheekbones and smooth. If you wanna get more familiar with the brushes in Blender for sculpting. Actually, I have an amazing video about that, how to start sculpting in Blender for beginners. I put it up here, make sure to check it out. And then I'm gonna add volume to the frontal bone and the eyebrows. As you see, I sculpt and then I check the human skull from all angles. That's just the best way of doing this. And then I'm gonna sculpt a C shape here. Actually, I'm just gonna carve this C shape uh, because I'm just gonna make this line more noticeable because this is just another bony landmarks. And guys, as I explained before in the video I introduced to you for head proportions, you can just go to the side view draw these lines and as you see the center of these lines this central point is the place that eyes are there so you can consider in this way that eyes are placed at the central point of the head you can start sculpting the ear I'm just gonna sculpt the ear with mask brush so I uh, click on M then Control I to convert the mask and then grab the ears and start sculpting on it. So after sculpting part of the head, I'm just gonna go to side view or front view or other views to check my skull and see whether something is wrong or not. And then I'm just gonna add some volume 
for the lips. And then I'm just going to add some volume to the jawline. And then add volume to the chin. There are some big differences between the male skull and the female skull. You should just find some references or use the Anatomy for Sculptors book to see what are the differences and start sculpting a male and a female. Another thing that I do is that I go to the side view and uh, choose draw sharp brush and I'm gonna just draw this line from the nasal bone to the center of the jawline. This line is so useful and uh, make the cheekbones more noticeable and also uh, it separates the cheekbones from the mouth and you can add some volume here and also you should consider the mouth a cylinder then start adding some volume here And then here. This head actually belongs to a male, but don't worry about it. You just start sculpting and learn the bony landmarks and learn the correct proportions. And then after you practice sculpting a lot, you can definitely sculpt both male and female. There are just a few uh, differences that don't worry about them. I know that many of you guys have been struggling with how to start sculpting or how to improve your 3D skills. So let me introduce you to today's sponsorship, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes. And if you have a specific skill you're trying to learn, like learning 3D character modeling and sculpting in Blender, ZBrush or Maya, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. Actually, I just got done taking this class on Digital Sculpting for Beginners by David Jasma and I think this is going to help you to vanish your fear of sculpting and you will be able to sculpt a human skull, tree, wood, metal, rock and other things. You know, this course will teach you everything that is important to start your journey as a 3D digital sculptor. And I think this course could be a perfect match. So definitely join Skillshare by clicking the first link in the description below. And the first 1000 people to use the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So seriously, don't miss this one month of free membership for sculpting the lips. You should consider this distance between the nose and the chin and just draw three lines like so that the distances between these lines should be equal and the first line is the line between the lips. And then start carving this line with draw sharp brush and then add some volume with clay strips brush or draw brush. I'm not gonna go over any facial features like eyes or ears or lips in this video. This video is just about sculpting a human base head from a sphere. And the way I do this is the way I'm showing you. And I think it's so easy and fast. And if you wanna learn this, you should just practice a lot. And I think the best way of learning it is that you just play this video and start sculpting this human base head in Blender or ZBrush or whatever. Uh, the software really doesn't matter. Just start sculpting this human skull with me step by step. And if you really like to see how to sculpt this facial features like the nose and ears and the lips. Guys, just tell me in the comments below that you like to see these sculpting facial features in my next videos. I'm just checking my human skull 
from all angles. And guys, I can say that a human skull includes the bony landmarks, the muscles and fat. So just search for muscles, fat and the bony landmarks of a human skull and just try to consider them in your sculpting. You don't need to memorize the names of the bony landmarks or muscles or fat because it's so difficult, especially for beginners. So you just need to learn the forms of them and the shapes. Just try to learn the correct shapes and the forms of the human head and this helps you a lot. I'm just gonna add some volumes to the ears just to block out them. And from now I'm just checking my human skull from all angles, look at the references and check. And as I said before, this is just a human base head. And actually, um, I can say that this is just a block out of human base head. Because after sculpting other facial features, uh, like the ears and nose and lips and eyes, I'm going to refine the whole head again. You just have to look at the head when all these facial features are there and then decide to sculpt or add volume or decrease some volume from some parts of the head and so on. And also it really depends on the references you've got. Also again you can change the voxel size to 0.01 and Ctrl R to remesh. Guys, anatomy is so important if you want to be a character artist, so consider learning it and uh, it really needs practicing. Guys, I hope you liked this video tutorial about sculpting a human head. If you have any idea about uh, sculpting or 3D modeling, I would be happy to hear your ideas. So. So please tell me in the comments below your ideas and if you like this video please give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more video tutorials. See you soon!